Hello, beautiful souls. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Hello. I am Melanie of Melamind, and I'm here with a divine message for you. Now, we're in Mercury retrograde right now. I just recorded a whole entire video already, and none of the sound was on. So, we... This is a very important message, super important, and I'm determined to get it out there. One of the main reasons, of course, is that I am here as a vessel for the divine, and things often get in the way where I'm not able to show up to the platform in which I am to spread these messages. So if you are here, and you are hearing this, then this is so, so important for you. So stick around, listen, and maybe take some notes because this is something that, ah, it's happening, okay? There is an attack right now on the divine feminine, on the divine feminine of this world. Now, we are in the age of Aquarius. We have entered the age of Aquarius this year, which is super, super powerful. If you don't know what it is, please, please do some research. Please look it up. Please get into the understanding and also in the understanding of what your role is within this energy because you are important. And many, many systems and structures within us, within our society, within where you are, has made it very clear and really pushed the message that you are not important, that you are not so big of a voice as you think you are. And I'm here to remind you, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to enlighten you that you are. Every single one of us has a role in this because every single one of us, we are one. We are whole. The thing is, with the age of Aquarius here, we're about becoming more integrated with who we are as a collective. Yes, you are powerful in your being. Yes, you are powerful in your light. You are also powerful with and for the collective. So really, really understand and figure out where you stand. For me, I understand and know that I'm here for the divine feminine. I am here to raise the message, raise the awareness, and raise the consciousness within all of us to truly, truly activate what it is we are here to activate in this time around. Now, if you are conscious as well, you've been on this journey for years and years, and you know where your right is, and you know where you stand, and I'm so excited for you. So if you are not, and you are kind of in a moment of feeling like, oh, well, I don't know what my vision is. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't even know that I have a purpose here in this world, okay? I encourage you and enlighten you and empower you to take a moment, take time in your days to truly, truly understand what it is that you are putting forth. Okay, and the only way that you can do that is to connect to your spirit guides, connect to your ancestors, and just be, on a human sense, just be, please, meditate at least five minutes a day, then 10, then 20, then 30, then 40, then 50, then an hour, and sit and receive the messages that you are here to be okay and the way that you do this is detach from anything in your mind that thinks you know what's coming that thinks you know what the message is to be because you don't and that's the whole point you're here to receive receive and when we speak of receive we speak of the divine feminine we receive we are in such a society right now and energy right now and throughout all of these decades of masculine, masculine, masculine work, slave, go, 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 get it, blah, 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 blah. No. The divine feminine receives. She knows her energy and she understands her energy and she receives. And you are going to learn how to receive, how to receive messages, how to receive what it is that you intend on receiving, and how to be confident enough and in the knowing enough to 
receive. <laughs> to receive. It's so important and it's so powerful of you to recognize within yourself that you are not in the point of receiving. Yes, I know the little birdies. To know that you are not in a point of receiving and to know that you are ready to indeed activate that. And I'm going to give you a hint. The activation of this process is through unconditional self-love. That means you know your worth. You know your standards. You know what you are righteous for. And you know what you are here for. Okay? And when you receive those messages, that's when the humanness comes. That's when you get to take action. Now, for me... I have stepped into the understanding of my vision and my purpose and my action here through my ancestors and my spirit guides, and that is to raise the collective of the divine feminine. Now, the message of today is that all over the world, women are being suppressed. The divine feminine is being suppressed. This is the age where we rise. The divine feminine rises. So, of course, there's going to be alternative energies that want to take that away. And we're here to say no. We're here to say you're done with your masculine ass energy. And we're here to set the scales. Now, it's not to say that the masculine isn't involved. We all have masculine within us. I am so masculine, okay? It's all about balance. It's all about enjoying and accepting unconditionally our masculinity along with our femininity. This means men as well. If you believe right now that the, the divine masculine is not under attack too, the divine masculine is, is under attack. We thrive as humans, we thrive as souls when both are aligned and balanced, the divine feminine and the masculine. They really, really think that the, the feminine is here to just conquer and come and destroy the masculine. We're here to fuck them up. No, that's not what it's about. What we are about is about balancing becoming one truly in this age of Aquarius. But in the masculine sense, in the masculine way, the way that they reach this energy is by destruction. Fuck the feminine. And we are not going to stand for it. No, we do not turn to war, violence, anything of the sort. But if we must go to war, we absolutely will. If you don't understand the age of Aquarius. This is the age of wars, okay? Things are being uprooted. This is Pluto. Pluto ripping the rug from beneath the societies, the structures that tell us who to be, how to be, what to be, because Aquarius is about full freedom. Not a little freedom, not, oh, we're a little more free than we were before. No, full. And the divine feminine is here to set that straight here to set that shit straight and we will not stand for crumbs we're not going to stand for oh here's a little bit no all of it's coming up so what i want for you is to understand where you stand where do you stand in this and i will give you a hint and i can help you i read birth charts the link is down here in your birth, in your natal chart, it's it shows you where your power is most helpful. As well as human design, it really helps to know your human design. Figure out these things and start there. But understand that we're not here to use the logical mind to come to these answers. Remember, be sit still and allow the messages to come to you. Remove yourself from the outcome, remove yourself from what you think you know, and truly, truly be a vessel for these messages, okay? So speaking of vessels, I am a vessel of the divine, the divine messages, the divine channel, because I meditate, I've done the ego work, I've separated myself from the outcome of what I believe is to be, 
because what I believed before wasn't working, okay? I had the rug ripped from beneath me, and I was like, okay, I surrender. I surrender. I'm in Egypt right now, in Egypt. <laughs> and one second. So when I took flight on this journey, um, I got into the understanding, I aligned within the understanding that I am clear. Melanie isn't part of the message. So if you find that this message is uh, aligning with you, that it activates anything within your mind that says, hmm, I want to figure that out. I want to see where my role is within the age of Aquarius and what I can do and how I can be within this. Please, please subscribe to this series because we're going to get into it. And I, ah, I'm going to get into religion. I'm going to get into the divine feminine. Religion is really, really huge on suppressing the feminine. And uh, we're just going to get really deep into whatever messages come. But for sure, I know that's the foundation. Whew, here we go. And with that, I am Melanie of Melamind. I am a self-love coach. I hope that you love yourself so, so much and that you show up. I intend to show up to these messages as well. I, I'm literally living a wonderful, amazing life in front of the Nile, just living my divine life. I mean, I ask my spirit guides to guide me to where I am to be, and they brought me to Aswan with the Nubian goddesses, the Nubian kings and queens, and I found my king. And so if these are not divine distractions from me showing up to the message that I am intending to to convey I don't know what is so let's let's work together in showing up for ourselves showing up for the messages showing up for the meditating okay I'm gonna be going live on Instagram until I can go live on TikTok then I'll be going over there so follow me on TikTok follow me on Instagram we're gonna go live meditate together talk together raise the divine feminine together because that's what we're here to do my loves let's do it i love you so much love yourself so much and see you in the next one